All right, this question is build an array with stack operations. So let's look at an example of what they want. So with, uh, with n equals 3, that means um, we're going to get an input like 1, 2, 3. So we see 1 first, and then we see 2, and then we see 3. And then we have a stack, and then we have operations that we're doing on this stack, and then we have our target for what we want our stack to look like at the end. So in this case, our target is 1, 3. So first, we read the input 1. Uh, we want 1, so we will push it onto our stack. So we've done one push. Uh, next up, we have 2. Now, 2 is something that we don't want. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll push it because we can't ignore it. We can only uh, push and pop, right? So what we'll do is we'll read it. So that's another push. And then we can pop it off right away because 2 is at the head of the stack right now. So when we pop, we pop off the head of the stack. So that is a pop. And we finish reading 2. Lastly, we have 3. And we do want 3 in our target. So we will uh, push again to get our final operations. Now notice what we're doing here. So in here, we pushed 1 because we wanted it. And here, because we didn't want two, we pushed and then we popped it right away. And then lastly here, we pushed three. So it seems like uh, every time we see something that we want, we'll push it. And then if we don't want it, we'll just do a push and pop. And because they give us guarantees such as the target is uh, strictly increasing, um, you're guaranteed that the answer is unique. So it seems like this, uh, this algorithm will work for all cases for us. Okay, so let's try coding this out. So our goal is just when we see something in the target, we will push it. When we see something we don't want, we will push and pop it. Okay, so we'll build our answer. And our answer will be a list of operations in your array list. Um, now I'm going to come back to this at the end, but we can actually calculate exactly how much our initial capacity should be. Okay, so next up, we, um, so you can see in this case here, we didn't need to read from 1 to n because we finished by the time we we're done 1 to 2. So I'm going to read a for loop for uh, int i and target. Okay, and then here we'll, we'll start getting our input. So we'll have some sort of an input, and our input starts at 1 and goes all the way up to n. So 1 to n input. So what we'll do is, uh, you know, for example, let's say our input is, is 4, and our target is just 3, 4. That means in the beginning, we are going to read 1, 2, 3, 4. That means when we start off, we don't want one or two. So we'll start off with uh, push, pop, push, pop. So that means what we want here is while our uh, input is less than our desired number. So while we haven't gone to three yet, we're going to do exactly that. So ops.add, we're going to push it on and then we'll pop it off. Okay. So after that, we're at this point now, where this is 3, and our input is also 3. So all we have to do here is push it on. OK, so now we did push pop, and then we got what we wanted, so we pushed it. And then we do that for every single i in our target. OK, the end will return ops. Let's give this a go. Um, Oh, right. So after every time that we read an input, we have to remember to increment it. So we read an input, so now we're reading the next input. We read an input, so now we're reading the next input. Okay. Cool. That looks like what we want. Now I want to get back to this about the initial capacity. Because if we are able to uh, come up with an exact initial capacity, that will prevent the array list from having to uh, resize itself over the course of our program. So uh, for the case of, let's say, this one. So let's look at this one. We 
you can see here that uh, our the number of items that we have here is five. And that comes from the fact that, you know, two, three, four, we want. So that means for sure in our target.length, we want to push it. So that gives us three. So this is three operations. And then you can see here, we don't want one of them, right? We're missing one of them, we're missing the one. So our target at our last index, uh, minus the target dot length tells us number of uh, numbers or input discarded and this will times it by uh, push plus pop so two so that means in this case we discarded one so we're doing a push and pop so that's one times two equals two so in total we have three operations plus two operations gives us five operations Okay, so we can do num operations, and it's gonna start off with target.length. And then what we'll do is we'll read the number of input that we discarded. So that's going to be target at target.length minus one uh, minus target.length itself. Right, so in this case, it's four minus three equals one. So we discarded one input. So that means norm operations is going to be plus equal this amount times two. Uh, get our brackets right. So that means in the beginning, we can set this to norm operations and uh, prevent the array list from having to resize itself. Okay, so our runtime at this point is going to be, uh, well, it's going to be O of n, right? O of n will be the biggest. Um, all right, I think that's it. And well, okay, let me double check. So could, could, is there a difference between the target length and this n? So we're looping over the target, but then inside we have to read each, uh, each input to make sure that we get all of it. So yeah, it'll be all of n. Okay, cool. All right, that's it for today and I'll see you on the next one.